This is school today. Students are learning online, doing hybrid school, or going back fully. The old style of school might be a thing of the past now. We don't have as many bustling hallways and we have to wear masks all the time. There's all these new rules and new ways to keep ourselves from spreading the coronavirus, our biggest problem in society today. Okay, so you're probably thinking I'm crazy for saying this and obviously I kind of am, but despite the horrible wrath that COVID-19 has gotten all over the world, the, the horrible things that have happened, I think that it could very well be the beginning of a new era for school. It could bring about the change that we've needed for so long, which I've talked about in past videos, and just overall change school in a more positive way. Let's get into the points now. My points. The, you know, uh, the stuff I'm going to be talking about, that I always talk about in an organized fashion, you know? Yeah. All right, let's go. What if online learning, either hybrid or fully digital, opens up the minds of students? It could allow us more freedom during the day and the ability to explore ourselves more often. It might even allow us to like school more as we aren't confined to tight spaces while having to ask to use the restroom, eat limited amounts of food, and raise our hands to speak. All these things make school a place that a lot of kids don't necessarily like. This new opportunity to embrace freedom in school could be an eye-opener for many students and teachers. Think about it. There's a chance that we'll return to completely normal school once again in the future. But what if we return to school with more freedom in our lives? When we get back to regular school, if students have enjoyed the freedom more and have benefited from it, then what if we incorporate it into our daily school routines by making schools more like home instead of a prison. So this newfound freedom that we could have in school, possibly in the future, could lead to many benefits for students, like more passionate learning and more engagement among students. But I do have to agree that a lot of kids are gonna take advantage of this, knowing how teenagers and kids are. But that's why this isn't the main point I'm gonna be discussing in this video. That's why there's something that I think is more important that could change because of this pandemic. Let's get right into that right now and move on. Cue the title card. Is it there yet? Oh, oh, there it is. Yep, all right, let's go. With all the new changes to school today because of the coronavirus, it might become harder for teachers to keep up to date with grades. It'll be much harder to give out tests and quizzes to students. So what if this leads to our school systems realizing that the current grading system that we have isn't going to work out that well anymore? After all, students are going to cheat on their tests when they're doing online school. Now, it'll be very hard to maintain and monitor these exams, and since they're the heart and soul of the grading system, something's got to change, right? As I've said many times before, I believe that the grading system, at least in American education, is the problem with our education. It's the biggest flaw in the entire system. It causes students stress and it doesn't exactly measure their learning in the most accurate way. The majority of tests simply display how good most students can memorize information and put it into an essay or multiple choice format. Now, once again, in no, in no way am I saying that the coronavirus is causing anything good to happen, but I'm saying that it could bring about change. And since I've always stressed that the grading system is horrible and this is one of the biggest flaws in school, I think that with this new change from the coronavirus, since the grading system is going to be hard to keep up with, it might be time for a change and more educators might be able to realize that now. As we get further and further into this global pandemic, changes are going to come to society in many ways. Our ways of learning in school could very well be one of them, and it's something that I think should be one of the changes. With the already new society that we live in, the norm is to wear masks. 
We've adjusted to society with the coronavirus as a threat and live every day with its risk. Obviously, with the new standard for everyday life, we may have to change up some of our curriculum. Students will need to learn more about our new ways of life and possibly dedicate more studies to the fight against the virus and how we can help the world. With all these great changes in society and new norms, especially with masks, there are many more opportunities for learning in school now that we are faced with such a troublesome virus. It could cause us to integrate new learning curriculum such as preventing the virus, the history of the virus, and how we can help stop it. This virus is no laughing matter, and we should all take it very seriously, no matter what, for our loved ones and for others' loved ones. It's completely altered society in the worst possible way, and came and abrupted our lives just horribly. But in the darkness, it is always possible to find light Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm a really small channel and I don't have a lot of support, but I have all these ideas and stuff that I want to do in the future that I can't get right now just because I don't have the budget or materials. But spread the word about my channel and keep watching my content. Thank you for watching and comment below what you think about these ideas and if you think there's anything else that I should have mentioned. I hope you enjoyed and until next time, peace.